Tough decision for coaches. Hey, Steelers fans. Today's updates are amazing and you definitely don't want to miss it. Despite what the national media believes, the Pittsburgh Steelers already have their starting QB, and that's what we're going to see today. But that's not all. The Steelers have an interesting contract challenge on their hands with Justin Fields. Leave a like and let's watch the video. Despite the buzz surrounding a potential quarterback competition at the Pittsburgh Steelers training camp, it seems the starting position is already secured by Russell Wilson. Reports and insider insights strongly suggest that the battle may not be as open as previously speculated. Daniel Jeremiah from NFL Media recently shed light on the situation during his appearance on The Rich Eisen Show where he emphasized the confidence the Steelers coaching staff has in Wilson. I'm really pleased with what I heard coming out of there with Russ, Jeremiah remarked. He highlighted that the coaches are impressed with Wilson's proactive approach and his ability to throw with anticipation. Further reinforcing this viewpoint is Mark Caboli from The Athletic, who during a segment on 93.7 The Fan in Pittsburgh downplayed the likelihood of Justin Fields starting Week 1. Caboli pointed out that quarterbacking at the NFL level transcends physical skills. It's equally about leadership and intangibles. It's more than just being a quarterback. It's being a leader, taking those guys to dinner. It's being that type of leader that they haven't had in a number of years now, Caboli explained, indicating that Wilson's efforts to bond with his teammates off the field have solidified his position as a leader and likely starter. Caboli also noted Fields' performance during practices, acknowledging his athletic prowess, but also his inconsistency. Sometimes he Fields looks like Ben Roethlisberger out there, and sometimes he looks like Mark Malone out there. To be honest with you, that's just how I view it. He needs some more work to be done, he said, suggesting that while Fields shows flashes of brilliance, his game lacks the consistency needed to take over as the starting quarterback. These insights paint a picture of a pre-decided quarterback scenario in Pittsburgh, with Russell Wilson virtually locked in as the starter due to his experience, leadership qualities, and strong work ethic. The scenario for Justin Fields becoming the starter seems unlikely unless unexpected circumstances, such as an injury to Wilson, arise. This information suggests that Steelers fans, while hopeful for a dramatic training camp battle, should prepare for Wilson leading the team when they face off against their opponents in the upcoming season. The coaching staff's strategy appears to be in favor of stability and leadership, qualities that Wilson has demonstrated since his arrival in Pittsburgh. Now, while you are still absorbing the implications of these revelations about our attack, there is more news coming. We changed focus, but not intensity. The next news could also decide the future of our beloved team. The Pittsburgh Steelers, under general manager Omar Khan, skillfully addressed their quarterback conundrum during the 2024 offseason. Following the departures of Mason Rudolph and Mitch Trubisky and the trade of Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles, Pittsburgh swiftly revamped their QB lineup by signing Russell Wilson and trading for Justin Fields. However, this revamped quarterback room introduces a new dilemma post-2024, as both Wilson and Fields are only on board for the 2024 season. Wilson joined on a one-year deal, and Fields is in the last year of his rookie contract after the team opted not to pick up his fifth-year option. The future contracts of both players are pending their performances in the upcoming season. Wilson has already hinted at a desire to stay in Pittsburgh long-term, but the team's commitment may hinge on his performance. Conversely, if Wilson doesn't meet expectations, the Steelers might consider retaining Fields, but this comes with its own set of challenges. Insider Mark Caboli recently shed light on the situation, stating, The Packers gave Jordan Love $13.5 million to keep him around another year, but they were more confident he was going to be their quarterback of the future than what the Steelers feel about Fields after 12 practices in shorts. I don't think the Steelers would touch that number, but they would have to entice him enough to make him want to sign. Fields, similar to Jordan Love before his extension with Green Bay, has not yet proven himself as a definite starter, making a high-value contract risky. The Packers had more familiarity with Love, who had been with the team for three years. Fields, having only participated in spring practices and reportedly struggling with accuracy, hasn't given the Steelers enough confidence to commit a significant salary. Moreover, Fields might prefer to test free agency to potentially secure a better opportunity and more money. This is compounded by the player's own desires and whether he sees his future in Pittsburgh, which remains unknown. If Fields shows potential and desire to lead, 
Pittsburgh might need to craft an appealing offer to keep him. This could mean a contract laden with incentives that allows Fields to bet on his performance, much like Green Bay did with Love. The deal might not match the annual value of $13.5 million given to Love, but could provide Fields with lucrative potentials based on his achievements on the field. Ultimately, the Steelers' decision will largely depend on Wilson's 2024 performance and Fields' development. If neither quarterback solidifies their position as a dependable starter, Pittsburgh could find itself in a precarious position, having to navigate the offseason without a clear quarterback solution. This scenario underscores the importance of the upcoming season in shaping the Steelers' long-term quarterback strategy. So guys, what did you think of these strategic moves by the Steelers for next season? Are you optimistic about what's to come or do you still have your doubts? Leave your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to click on the video below to continue following all the news. Let's keep the conversation going and hope these plays take our Steelers over the top this year.